Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jamie. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today I'm going to be doing um, the attach, not the attachment, but the um, template of the inside for the um, junk journal surveys that I'm doing, the gypsies ones. So I have my template. I just finished doing the book to close it. Basically I have my tape in there now, double sided tape. Both are the same and then I have the one inch. So. I'm thinking I probably, since it is a uh, traveling notebook, I need to put a hole probably here and there. I'm not going to do anything with the cover right now, and I'm going to have to put a hole here for the buckle. And then I was going to do the pocket here, but I couldn't do the pocket. But I do have these little um, marks right here, these guys here. I might be able to do something with it. But I'm not too sure just yet, but I probably will try because it's a nice little feature. So, yeah. Okay, so I have the template here, and this is the one that I'm going to be using. Okay, and I have my fabrics. I'm just going to make sure I have all my fabrics here. I have this, 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 and this is going to be it. That's going to be there. And actually, I could, I could, I could always just put it here for now, and then, because I don't want to overdo it with the, um, with the thread. So what I'm going to do, actually, this is what I should do. I'm going to put an outline. That's what I normally do. I like to put an outline on how I'm going to fold it. I wish this was a little bit bigger, but it's not because I like to fold it over, right? Um, that should be good. Grab my pencil and then I'll just make. So this is where basically where the fabric will go. And then this will go over the, um, yeah, it'll go over the front, the rest of the, the stuff. Okay, I think with the other, the, the front, I'm going to just glue it to the book itself. But I wanted to make like a little collage in the inside. Um, I don't have very vintage -y kind of fabrics when it comes to stuff like that. So I was thinking... I was going to do, I'm pretty, I was going to do this. I was thinking about, so there's my template. I was thinking about just using these as um, the fabrics because they are Italian. And I think my, this, I think the lady, you know what? I can actually, I don't even have to use this because this is not, you know, well, I could use it inside and then just so it's more um, coverage. Um, yeah, I could use it. Okay, I'll think about it. Okay, so right now I'm just going to be checking this out, see what I can use. Okay. And I will be, um, most likely I will be adding some different elements like these little guys here. Mm. Use like a different material, different color. What's in here? Mm -hmm. Let's see. I kind of like I'm gonna have OCD, so I kind of want to make sure that things are a little straight. Yeah. So I'm just looking at the curves, the straight, the stuff of the. Okay, I can lift that up a little bit. 
actually. Hang on, let me see. Okay, I think that looks good. I think that looks good. So I'm gonna just use my, what is it? What is this? Tacky, and this is Fizzy fabric, I think so. So I'm gonna do it like this, I think that looks good.
I think I was supposed to put a pin in this, eh? Right in there. I'm not familiar. That's why. Ooh, okay.
basically done with this fabric. I'm gonna put it on, on the side. That's gonna be for then my next jump trail. So I'll just throw it over here. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick the rest of the fabrics basically for the, basically this part. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Just doing whatever, right? So let's see what I can do here. So I have a couple fabrics. I want to kind of do a little fabric kind of little thing. I think that is what I need. I don't know, I'm just doing whatever, right? So <laughs> basically, and then this will go like this. Unless I leave it like this. And then so basically the person that is designing it could do it. Yeah, you know what? I think I might leave it like that. And then the rest of the stuff, these little pieces of fabric, I'll use in the in the uh, junk journal. Like I'll make like a little collage. Okay, so yeah.
before we add with it. little scraps in my container of lined paper scraps. So we have some purpley blue and some pink and some green. They don't have to go together so I could just put that on here just because I like the green. What I mean is they don't have to match image-wise, why would a radio be sitting there with the flowers, but, you know. It's got pretty colors in it, that map. Just looking at the material, see what I have, because I want to kind of match it all together, right? And we need to match it. So, yeah, I just want to see what I can do here. It's fun doing a collage where I need to leave space for writing. It's just different, a little bit different from doing other types of collages. and beauty product labels, digital. This is pink numbers. 
40 minutes and my battery light still isn't flashing but I have to quit at about 44 45 minutes anyway because my camera shuts off if I don't sometimes not always but we've got quite a bit done and I'm very pleased with it so I just need to go back and do a little bit of writing starting here and I write on this to write on the inside of the bag, things that are inside the bag. So starting here, I have all of this stuff to write on. So that was fun and relaxing for me. I hope it was for you as well. We have one more whole signature, and this is halfway through the middle signature. So we'll, we have a signature and a half to do. So that means we're halfway through the book because there's only three signatures. So that means I need to do it more often, just like everything else. How am I going to do it all, I ask you? Well, I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to take some play time when I want to and just do what I feel like that day. How about that? Thank you all for coming with me today. I hope you enjoyed this. And hopefully the next time I get this book out, I will have some more verses written in there that I can share with you. I hope you're having a creative day today. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This is Kylo, and it's the future of pain relief. Kylo is different than anything you've seen. Yachts Costume Jeweler, we are headed into the Indian Rocks Thrift Center mm. in Seminole, Florida. This is a great store. They usually will have purses and jewelry. I haven't been in here in probably several weeks. It's been quite a while. So we're going to go in here and look for purses and jewelry to pack up for resale on YouTube and eBay, as well as knickknacks, doodads, trinkets, and whatnots. So we do sell some of those also. So hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on live buy nows and auctions on my channel, as well as daily uploads of thrifting, estate sale, garage sale, antique store videos. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure you hit a big thumbs up for this video. So as I say, there's never a guarantee that you're going to find something, but we always are looking. They always have a great window display here. I'll show you some of that never really bought anything from it but they always really put in a lot of time to make it beautiful if you're looking for some great Floridian shirts you can definitely find them here and I'm ready to do that is that little yellow thing a birdhouse or what is that I don't know it's cute though Sandy Soul, Sandy Toes, Salty Kisses. Look at that. So, beautiful window display. So, here's hoping we have some luck in here today. You just never know when it's a very big store. So, there's a lot of clothing, a lot of furniture. Not always a lot of purses, but if you're looking for other things besides purses, you might be in luck in here, too, because they do have a lot of everything off duty. Oh, my gosh. My legs are so sore from the gym yesterday. Oh, I did deadlifts. Man. Oh. So this is a pretty sack purse. So in this store, they do keep their nicer purses behind the counter, behind the jewelry counter. So if you're coming in looking, they're not just on the wall higher-end ones are behind the counter. So the most fantastic thing I found in here once was a Gucci wallet. Look at 
those lamps. Found a Gucci wallet once in here. very old flower sifter with the uh, sifter still on it. That is probably 1950s, don't y'all think? We're going to look at the Watnati section before we look at the purses and jewelry. Because you just never know what you're going to find. What are these made of? What kind of glass is this? Those are really pretty. Set of two. Just take that ribbon off. Those are really pretty. I think we've seen this before. This is an Avon bottle. It's an Avon bottle, perfume bottle, made to look like a lamp. <coughs> These owls are really cute. Look at the eyeballs. something I would pack up to resell. Little trinkets like that are cute. And it's made by Onesco. I don't know what Onesco is. Imagine a vacation with a perfect balance of we time and me time, where everyone can run off on their own adventures and come together to create memories that last a lifetime, where magic meets the sea. If I make it all, I can make me a business with Squarespace, where I sell classes, books, and sessions, because of So it has a lot of furniture here and sometimes antique furniture that you can refurbish. I think I just spotted something I love. Look at this. A vintage folding book stand. Look at that. I love that so much I could use that for cookbooks and things. ironwork on that so you can always sometimes find antiques also in a thrift store you can see if it says what year it doesn't say what year on it made in Chicago 
I don't normally buy clothing, but look at this jacket. It's brand new. They want $35 for it. $125 new. So we're going to go check out the purses and jewelry now. Ooh, what's this over here? Is this a purse hanging up or not? Some sort of No, it's not. What does it say on it? I'm going to take a look at all these now. There's quite a few here. Nice rosary. Abalone shell necklace. of earrings to pick through here. leopard pendant, not marked. It's a little bit faded. Cute, but we'll pass on that. These earrings are a little different, so it's acrylic leopards. But what's intriguing to me is that they are acrylic, but they have real pearls on them. Yeah. I'd nearly buy them for that reason, but I don't like the artwork of the leopards too much, so we're going to pass on it. I don't know what these are. They're different. It's got a mark. Looks like you got a coach. Michael Kors. I don't know what's behind it. And there's a Spartina. I think it says Spartina. I'm not sure. the times that I come in here and there's a lot of brooches and there's not because I've bought tons of brooches in this store. It's a perfect condition though. It looks like it's leather. No rubs on the outside. Okay, so I was playing, playing around and I think this is what I came up with for the inside. I, I like it. I was playing around. Um, I was gonna, I took a couple pictures. I think this is what I'm gonna go for for the inside of the traveling notebook. I think I like that. So I'm going to continue doing it. I don't, I didn't wanna go too, too crazy or too drastic um, just because of, um, it's supposed to be soft still 
and it's supposed to represent a woman that is traveling and I think she would collect soft fabrics and stuff like that throughout her journey and then um, yeah so I think that that would be good for her just to go nice and light and then she could decide if she wants to um, if she wants to continue continue uh, adding more fabric or whatever she she prefers okay and then plus this can um, act as a pocket and this one too and then these could be like we can add little things to them too if we wanted to but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but I'm gonna just cut the fabric now and start assembling um, I will probably will do some sewing but I'm not too sure when yeah. so I really like this. This has got to be really old. And the lady that's wearing, um, I don't even know. Maybe I might have enough for the next one. That would be cool. But we'll, we'll see. We will see. I might not even, it might not match. Because this is more feminine looking. Well, the other one, I don't know. It might be. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that this is nice and even. So I have my both sides are cut here. And they're facing um, the right way. So... I just want to make sure it's nice and I'm done. Okay, I'm just gonna just make sure I get to the front. I don't wanna, I mean the front, the uh, measurements. Make sure the measurements are done. I'm gonna mark my measurements of the book. So I'm just folding this like that for now. Remember, you might hear some noises in the back. I like to watch other videos while I craft, just because I like noise. Okay, so now this will be glued onto here and then the fabric will be glued onto there. Like so. so, this will be the middle of the book. Okay, so I want to try to kind of have these uh, layers out a little bit, but like these little ends, but we will see. Okay, so that is the middle right here. There we go. So I'm just going to grab a little pencil and I will just kind of mark it right here. Is that right? I want to make sure it's right. You're going to make sure your edges are right. And then you're going to make sure when you bend it, the bending is good too. So, let's see. So yeah, lucky I checked that because it wasn't even. I want to make sure there we go oh i could have looked that up see i'm just learning i might make mistakes right you only learn and then you correct them like i've made a lot of mistakes already before okay so there's the line there and obviously this one would be here and then there so I'll grab this one here put there even in there, and you can slide it down, okay, slide it down, tight it down, there we go, and then this will be, could be, right here, good, okay, now we know where the middle is, so that's good, that's what we need to know, we need to know where the middle is, okay, do I have enough of this for both, let's see, one, okay, sweet, I do, okay, so I will cut this soon, Actually, I think she, yeah, she might have ripped it, but, uh, oh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'll just cut it right now. see the little tops there they're good there I'm just gonna turn my light on just in case it might help
I can always put it this way too. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, I could go this way too. So at least I have a little bit of look on it. That would be cute, right? I think. Make sure the shiny side is facing the right way. It wasn't the right way. Or was it? Let's see. I guess they're both shiny. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. If you decide to. Because I have it on there, not on there, but we will see. Let's see. I'll do this one like this. Let's see. Oh, I guess I have to put this piece in first. How do you tell which side is which? The sewing. Like it feels like they're both sides. It's crazy. My kids are cleaning the Christmas tree now. So, which one should I pick? Let's see. So I got this here. Just want to make sure it's even. Attach, let's put this up a little bit. I have to attach the front first, I believe, but or even the signatures. No, the signatures attach the front first and then attach the inside. I gotta always remember the steps. I should write them down actually. Okay, so I don't know which way I want to go. Let's see. I like the idea of the inside because then you can kind of use it as a pocket if you wanted to. Hmm. What should I do? I really, I think I like this one because at least this can come out a little bit, right? Even if I wanted to just go like this a little bit, right? So at least then it can come out a little bit, right? Mm, it doesn't have to be that, that much. Let's see, let's go a little bit more. Okay, I'm like that. That looks cool. And then I can always put like a gray, I mean a gray, a gold um, thread. If I, I know I have gold thread in vintage, but yeah. Okay. Okay, so I could, I can't, I can't tape it. Okay, so I mean I can't apply it just yet because I have to apply the front because I'm going to tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it. Oh, let me cut this first. 
problem. Technically, she'd be the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them together. Um, just here and here. See that? It's hard to see that one. There it is. Yeah, I'm just going to glue them here and here and leave the, the bottom part to the part. I guess if I do the sewing in the gold, I would have to probably do it by hand. I could do a couple little stitches just to give an accent with like a, maybe a jewel or a button or something. Okay, so these are the sides. I'm just going to put it away so I don't... that this is the front because obviously it's not the front so this is it here This is just a template, it's not anything else. I'm not using it. I could use it. Um, I'll make another one, but I'm not going to. You guys have any plans today, tonight? No, Dad said he wanted to take me out for dinner. But I think he's downstairs right now, so I don't know if he still wants to take me out. Okay, that's it. All right, all right, that's done. Okay, now, hmm. So I could... Technically, I'm not using anything under there. Um, I can glue it on here. I'm just making the hole in there through there. Right? I've got to make the hole through here and there, anyways. I think you guys normally should make the hole first. I think you guys know I'm going to make the holes first, right? Okay. So, gosh, how do they normally do? How do they normally do it? you put front top I almost mixed it because oh, oh, oh. I remember this piece is in this corner because it's a really pretty piece so I'd like to make sure oh almost okay so let's get our okay so we're gonna do our now we did that we're gonna do our what's it called Mm, no, the um, folders. There's the folders here. 